welcome to another episode of Mr. Badger Talks to a Scum. Uh, I'm here with a very, very close friend of mine, the lovely Donald Dibble. How are you, Donald? I'm all right, Mr. Badger. It's a beautiful day and it's lovely to be here. It's, are, you, are you happy in the van? I, I am happy in, in your van. Isn't that a place in Wales? <laughs> my, my, my van. Yeah, my van we. No, uh, no, how's, the, the, how's the TB going, by the way? The TB? <laughs> I, I didn't have TB. It turned out I had COVID. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if you had your two jabs and your booster. <laughs> I've, had, I've had two jabs, but only off crowds that are very happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rocky night. It was. Hey, we're, we're on the humour already. We're away. We're away. We're Some, rolling. Sometimes in these 20 minute interviews, it takes to about the 18th or 19th <laughs> minute. We, we actually get to the point. We yeah, the yeah. So no, but talking of getting to the point, you're here to talk about something which is very dear to your heart. Absolutely. Mr. Badger. You're here to talk about Aussie men, aren't I you? Am, I am here to talk about the Osmonds, uh, the, the greatest rock and roll band ever. The what? The Osmonds. No, Aussie men, you said. Australian men. The Osmonds. Uh, no, what you do in your private life is entirely down to you. But With, I'm going to be talking uh, about uh, a Mormon singing group called the Osmonds from Utah. Morons! You can't call them that anymore! They're called retards. I was going to say, what is the uh, what is the um, the term you can use? You do realise that um, in the nineteen twenties that they tried to put various people with a low IQ into Spastics. groups. <laughs> they came later. So you had you had idiots, yeah. imbeciles. <laughs> Did they put them all into the audience of the? And, uh, <laughs> Only the small room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they, so they, had, they had morons, they had idiots, and they had uh, imbeciles, and they thought that was not politically correct. So in the 1950s, they changed the demarcation, and they started calling them retards. That is actually the uh, proper American medical term. Well, no, no, the, the term... For re- people who go into the small room at the... The small room. <laughs> yeah, the term retard is retarded, isn't it? To, be, to slow something well, down. It just, means slow. it just means they're late. Yeah, that's it. So... So to me, the, the term retard is not offensive. It's just, I think people associate a slur with a group and then that itself becomes an offensive statement. Well, I don't find it offensive at all, actually. I, uh, if people call me anything, it's uh, more of a compliment these days at my age. That's it, if people just notice your existence. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but, so, so, but you wanted to talk about some Mormons. I, that... think, I, think, I think your voice has slipped there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, you need to get back more into that. You know, oh, no, like, this is Hello, your voice. Dave. <laughs> I'm not aware of this character you're referencing. Uh, no, it's the uh, Mormon singing group, the, uh, the fabulous Osmonds, Alan Wayne, Mel J, Donnie Marie and Jimmy. Yeah, That's a, a long name. It, it is a long name it's because there are seven of them. In fact, there are nine. There are originally two more, uh, Verl and Tom, uh, but they actually have hearing issues. They died in the womb. <laughs> they are still going. They are all, the whole family is still going. They had hearing issues. And so the other family members uh, set up a barbershop quartet to raise money for the elder brothers and it's from there that they built their magnificent right. career we've got a lot of numbers going on it there's there's nine of them yeah. there's nine of them there's seven in a band seven in a but band. there's seven in a band made a barbershop quartet which well, is four well they did have four so the original barbershop quartet was alan wayne merrill and jay and then little donny came along and he's still going in fact at christmas he was playing at the palladium where your friend Donald Mackerel uh, and the Penguin made uh, an appearance. The, the, the London Palladium! The, uh, very London Palladium. In fact, the very stage that you were on, Donny Osmond was on there from uh, December to January. Uh, and then his sister came along, which is how I got into the Osmonds, actually. And, oh, uh, is she... Is she uh, Marie, uh, Marie Osmond, the darling Marie Osmond. And then little Jimmy Osmond came on later. Uh, little? Yeah, little. Uh, how little? Uh, well, he's five foot ten now, but when he started, he was about four foot. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not interested in height. It's, uh, um, was he like, you know? So Howard Stern asked Donny that. He said, which one of you is the biggest? And Donny said, well, I know who, but I'm not going to tell you. So, to me, I'm very close to them, but even to me, that is still a mistake. Oh, I'm not on about, like, penile length. I'm, on, I'm on about uh, how, how old was, was he when he first... Uh, who, Donny or Jimmy? Either. I, I'm just trying to get something in the wank bank. Uh, oh, Jimmy was three. Three? Oh, no. First TV appearance was when he was three. They're too tight at that age. You need you need a bit of slack before you can uh, before you can fantasize. How much? How, what was the girl? Marie was. Marie. It? Yeah. How old was she when you were into her? When uh, when she first made her <laughs> appearance, question. she was she was about uh, uh, seven. Fuck! 
<laughs> and that's why you got you into them. No, no, no. She, uh, she had a number one single. She had a number one single. She was 14 in Britain. Paper Roses. Yeah. Paper. Paper Roses. But you can't pronounce the letter R, so it was always Paper Roses. But she had a number one single in the UK when she was 14. So she and was... I saw her when she was about 16 in a film called Going Coconuts. So she was legal, <laughs> and that's when I got into Mary Elspeth. Going Coconuts. Going Coconuts. It's an appalling film, but she's worth watching. Did she get a coconut out in it? She still hasn't. She still hasn't. Being a Mormon, she's against all that. She was the first choice to play the female lead role in Greece. And because of the scene at the end with the uh, the leathers and the uh, the fag. She... You can't call them f***s anymore. <laughs> she refused to do it. I'd refuse to do a f*** to it be was, honest uh, with you. It's... It was John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. And it could have been Henry Winkler, the Fonz, and Marie Alton. Yeah. Say, I don't think uh, Jesus allows uh, those sort of things in heaven anymore, does he? There's that Westminster Baptist, whatever they're called, church, and apparently Jesus hates them nowadays. Does he? Yeah. Well, you have a direct line to him? Well, I don't, but this church full of American retards <laughs> certainly well, do. And... When they're together, they normally tend to either burn crosses or burn themselves, don't they? Yeah. The old Davy Koresh thing. Yeah. But... Wake her. But so, Marie was uh, part of a mor moron group, and you said that it's against the more unbelief that you should let them breed, which I, I, they, I agree with. The, the Mormons really like breeding. I mean, uh, the, the, the parents, George right. and Olive, they had nine children. and So they're against uh, sex, but they breed? No, they love sex. They love sex and they love children. And they're completely against abortion. Ah! Yeah. So how, how does that work then? Because you said that she doesn't want to get a tit. Does, does she keep her tits covered up and just rip a hole open so people can stick it in or something? Well, like most ladies, um, they do tend to go through life um, with their um, their wobblies uh, covered up. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I don't know, you've not been to the clubs that Mr. Badger's been to. I have been to the clubs that Mr. Badger's been to. <laughs> Although, to be fair, most of the women that I'm looking at don't even have wobblies. <laughs> well, not... you can't see them anymore because of the tattoos. Can you? <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that an Edinburgh reference? That was no, 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 I did, I did a gig with uh, Steve Dodd uh, and it was called a gentleman's night, so I was expecting some kind of football sporting do with um, uh, bow ties and tails and whatever. It wasn't that at all. It was, uh, it was four very, very um, uh, amenable uh, strippers uh, offering to do um, whatever. They had a raffle where you could do whatever you want with them in the back room. I did hear that this may have been for drug dealers slash gangsters. Is that the case? Uh, I've no idea. I just know it's for the people of Cheslin Hay and they loved it. That was their big thing. That was their <laughs> big annual event. Their big annual event is they all get together yeah, and, and you know how big, to You know this. how big John Pearson is? Yes. Uh, he's about 20 old stone. He's uh, six foot four and the audience there threatened to kill him on the night. <laughs> when, when he was performing on stage. Ah. Steve Dodd had a chair thrown at him and uh, somebody let off a fire extinguisher in his face while he was performing. <laughs> so when you talk about the gigs that you do, yeah, I do know the gigs. Yeah, yeah. I do the same gigs. <laughs> were you paid? We, well, that's why we did it. Exactly, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, we were very well paid and uh, me and Doddy went home uh, because we live close to each other. We said, would you come again next year? We thought, yeah, probably would actually. When you say close to each other, are we talking... Uh... Same, yeah, bunk beds or... No, no, same bed. Same bed? Yeah, same. yeah. Tops like, to toe or...? No, 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 no me, and, me and Doddy are always... Hey, you get your cocks in each other's mouths. <laughs> Spoons, we, we spit, me and Doddy spoon. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. So, well, that sort of, uh, well, it doesn't bring me anywhere near to the quiz round. Well, but... we, we're not up to the 18th minute yet, are we? So... No, we, we, we're going to do the new section for Series 3 of Mr Badger Talks to Us as Scum. Yeah. Which is, uh, we do Badger Mind. Badger Mind, that sounds good. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, a quiz show based on your specialist subject, which I thought was well, Australian you, well, well, men. Well, you, so. you, you often start and so you have to finish, don't you? Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Badger can't finish anymore. I consent. <laughs> I've got powder in my balls yeah. now. This, <laughs> yeah. Nothing works. Right, so, um, what we're going to... Knock it out, salt. Go on, what, what we're going to do, we're going to make a quiz based on your choice, which was Aussie men, sadly. That's okay. what my <laughs> research is okay. on. So uh, you'll get about 30 seconds to answer as many questions how, how, as you can. How current is this show? Because obviously Shane Warne died today. Shane Ward? Sh Shane, that pop star? No, no, no. 
not the one you put up on your profile. No, Shane Warne, the uh, Australian cricketer. The Australian? Oh, that's a good Spent point. Spent all that time having his teeth done and his hair <coughs> sorted out and died of a heart attack. Well, they don't stop growing, do they? Yeah. <laughs> so, at least there's that. He'll have lovely. Tragic. Uh, a, a genuine sporting superstar. Oh, was he 52, wasn't he? 52, it? yeah. Oh, lovely. 52 and out. Well, what a tribute to him to uh, talk about American men of which you... American? Australian are you, are men! Are you going to Australian or American? Yeah, I'll, Australian I'll, men. I'll do whatever. I'll do whatever. Nothing else to do. Good to life. know, because you're stuck in the <coughs> fucking van. Yeah. So, I right, am stuck in your van. We've got about 30 seconds. Right. Try and answer as many as you can correctly. Yes. Here we go. Go on then. So, first one. Which Australian man played the Marvel character Thor? No idea. Never seen a single Marvel film. Oh, this never, is... never will. <laughs> This quiz may not go very well for you. No. Which American man played the Marvel character Wolverine? No, don't know that one either. Oh dear. Third question. Which Australian man... Is, it, is the answer to any of these Heath Ledger? I've heard of him. Paul Hogan. Which Australian man played the Marvel character The Incredible Hulk? Uh, Lou Friedman. <laughs> no. No. Um, which Australian man played the DC character, the Joker? Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah? I've seen that. That's all right, that film, wasn't it? It's not the answer I'm looking for. But... <laughs> he was like you. Christian Bale. No. Yeah. So we'll move on to... Oh, we've got time for one last question because the buzz has just gone. Uh... Oh, dear. Well, this is uh, its an Australian character's name as well. Yeah. Which Australian played the Australian character yeah. in uh, a DC film? Yeah. Captain Boomerang. Yeah. You know, when you got in touch with me, we said we were going to have a quiz. Uh, next time, can be a bit more specific about the type of things you You said like. Aussie men! <coughs> Yeah, well, I didn't think it was going to be about Marvel characters and DC characters, did I? That's why I... I've don't... never seen a single film. I know, that's why I thought I'd fuck you up with five questions. You yeah. have? But the, the first one, uh, Thor, was played by Chris Hemsworth. Are you aware of him? No. Uh, if you're not a woman, if you're a woman, I'm not a woman. No. Yeah, you, you'd know. He's a lovely, beautiful, big man. He looks like a Viking. It is a so, yeah, and then uh, Wolverine was played by Hugh Jackman. I've heard of Hugh Jackman. There we go. He was in the film with. Um... All them freaks in the circus. The uh, Eddie Neagle Edwards film, wasn't he? He was. He yes, was. he, he played that. his coach. He was pretty, that wasn't he? Uh, the Incredible Hulk was Eric Banner. You aware of him? Eric Banner. Yeah. Oh, yeah wasn't he Incredible Hulk David Banner? Yeah. Well, that's it. David oh. Banner. Yeah. yeah. This one is B A N A. Eric yeah. Banner. I'm not really thinking back to the 1970s. No, but David Banner <laughs> was the name of the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Bill Bixby. Uh, the Joker. You said his name. It was Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. <laughs> So you had you had one, but you didn't say it for the joke. You know I mean? I've heard of Heath Ledger. Yeah, but there we go. And then Captain Boomerang, I'll be very surprised if you got that. His name is Jai Courtney. No. No, it's part of the Suicide Squad, which was a film from, I think it was either last year or the year before, but there we go. So I'm sorry, you're not very good at your specialist subject there, I'm Donald. brilliant at my specialist subject. I'm just no good at Marvel films <laughs> and DC films. These Don't. are Australian men! I oh, look, I know Australian films. You want to talk about Crocodile Dundee and whatever? I can, I can do that. You're aware that's an American film with an Australian in it, though? A, a good Australian no, film would no, be it's Ned not, Kelly. It's not, actually. It was funded by the uh, American Film Corporation. It's Australian Film Corporation. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think the only famous oh, Australian on, are you, one I know are you is talking, Ned Kelly. Are you talking about the... The real uh, Mr. Dundee, which they did last year, that was probably amazing. What the hell was that? I've never even heard of that. Well, it went, it went straight to uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, <laughs> to me, I love it when someone tells you, like, because we're both in the comedy game, I love it when they say, I've got a special out, and then you find out it's on Amazon Prime. And you go, well, for, I'd rather have one on YouTube. What the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Not dear. quite Dave, Dave Chappelle, I... Yeah, so we'll get back to your, your rearranged specialist subject to the Osmonds yeah, then. So, yeah. so what, what what happened with your love of the Osmonds? How did you get into them and what, is it still carried on to this day? No, generally it was because I saw Going Coconuts. Yeah. And uh, I fell in love with Marie Osmond, a love that is still there. And uh, my girlfriend at the time... <coughs> Told one of her friends, and a friend saw the best of the Osmonds in the bargain bin in HMV for one pound ninety nine, and sent me a copy of the disc as a joke. And I put it on, and it had a bit of Marie, a bit of Donnie Marie, a bit of Jimmy Osmond, and it had some of the real Osmonds on there. And I thought, 
this is actually quite good. <laughs> yeah. And they've got a rock classic called Crazy Horses, which was oh, used. Oh, yeah. Years ago, <coughs> to publicise the Virgin Atlantic uh, brand, and Christian Riley, a great headlining comedian, he uh, does a, a reworking of that as his um, encore or final bit of his act. Yeah, he didn't do an encore when he did my night. He wasn't very happy. He walked up. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, you probably didn't get it then. But uh, yeah. yeah, so the husband, in a way, is still current. And they also had Love Me For A Reason, which they took them number one. And on the back of that, Boys Own, or Boys One, as Chris Evans used to call them, uh, they did um, just a carbon copy. Yeah. And became big stars from Brickies to um, Playboys. Yeah. What, what happened to the Osmonds then? Because they're not chart regular anymore, are they? Well, they're very old, very old. Um, the eldest two were born deaf. Uh, they're still deaf. Uh, the head of the Osmonds Quartet, Alan, he had multiple sclerosis. This is not a happy story, by the way, if you're looking for the <laughs> comedy bit. Uh, Wayne had brain cancer, Ed had a, a stroke, and he's now deaf. Uh, Meryl Osmond suffers with um, depression, but he's still going. Jay Osmond suffers with depression. Uh, he's actually bringing out a musical. Musical is actually on in the UK at the moment, which he has written. Um, Donny Osmond had social, social phobia. But he's doing very well at the moment. He's just finished a stint at the London Palladium, now back in Las Vegas. Marie Osmond is just a big star, dancing with the stars and all that type of when thing. When you said she's a big, I thought you were going to say slut. No. Oh, no, no. No? No. It's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you sending me off track there. I'm still thinking about a coconut. And then Jimmy Osmond was actually performing in pantomime at uh, Birmingham Hippodrome Theatre and actually had a stroke while he was performing. Holy shit! So he, he actually carried on with the the pantomime, uh, went home afterwards back to America and has been seen there for about three or four years. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of tragedy involved. Well, when, you, when you think that Mormons don't drink and they don't smoke and they don't take drugs, yeah, you go, it's you not, really should. They're not selling the lifestyle, are they? <laughs> Not particularly. When you look at someone like Paul McCartney, who's approaching 80 now, yeah. and you think, how much weed has that man smoked? And look at him, he's still <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Or what you can be advert. completely clean living. Be like me, you might get brain cancer and multiple sclerosis. Exactly. Do they just live on a diet of, like, bacon or something? Because there's a lot of strokes in that. No, because they're not even, allowed to, not even allowed to have coke. But they, well, just, uh, but they do it? like cake. They don't have coke, but they do like cake. So they, like they uh, cake. yeah, but they do. They do they well. snort that as well? I don't know. I don't know. Because Marie Osmond, she did have uh, a weight problem, and then she's on this Nutri what's it diet, and uh, has lost loads of that. But she's been endorsing that. Well, I think she's full of Botox. Then. Ah. You can't look like she does without uh, having a few few injections. Well, how old is she now? Uh, she was born in 1959, so... I can't do... I can't even... I can't... I, don't, I can't read. 63, is she? 63. Yeah, 63, yeah. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> what about Jimmy? What about with him? I'd consider it. Yeah, what... Well, can I suppose... Uh, he must look a little bit like her. Um, I sort of. I mean, he's a very good-looking man. Pop a wig was on it, him, strap he a, was a He was a very fat kid, but uh, no, he's a... Good looking man, just hasn't been seen for a number of years. Oh, it is, but they're not releasing music anymore as a group, then they're doing it. So. No, no, uh, for Marie's, I think for her 60th birthday, they, they wrote and performed one last song, the four of them, Alan Wayne, Mary and Jay, and they said that's the last time we'll perform together, and then Meryl and Jay performed together, and then said that's the last time we'll perform, and Meryl is still going, it's the lead singer of the Osmonds. And uh, he said he's going to probably retire next year. Oh, yeah, that's a more tragic story than the Jacksons, which... Um... Oh, there's more, there's more. I mean, you're only just scraping the surface with the hell stuff. I thought you were going to say scraping the barrel, because that's normally what happens on this podcast. Well, clearly. <laughs> but we are utter scum, so we have risen to the top with this one. Yeah. Um, they, uh, they were in California, didn't like the lifestyle, and they were doing very well, had one of the top-rated variety shows on American television. So what was it called? It was called the Donnie and Marie Show. What's it? Well, that's a Strangely, <laughs> an Osman production. Yeah. And they um, decided to build a great big state-of-the-art studio in Utah. And the following year, their show was cancelled because of falling ratings. 
and they found that their advisors had actually run away with their money and it's estimated they lost a hundred million dollars. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well Jesus didn't help because they are Mormons That's and they're <laughs> obviously praying in the wrong direction. Well as you well know I'm a devout Christian so all this is lovely news to me. Well I know that you like some of the rituals. Yeah. Yeah. But straight, I've been told I should be more Catholic than Christian. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand the reference. Yeah, but I think with that you can only have small boys. Yeah, that's right. You know, why would you restrict yourself? Yeah, there is that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, put it around. Yeah, but, it, but is there a, either a happy or a funny story about the Osmonds you'd like to end on? No. Oh, fucking hell. Well, it's been, it's been interesting having you on, Donald. It, 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 I don't know, you don't even know my name, but uh, I'll... Uh, what I'll, is your name? I'll, I'll, go in, um, I'll go and research some um, uh, Marvel characters, DT characters. Aussie men! Just you see for. Yeah, but they're all part of the same group. There's more Australian men than just people who appear in those appalling films. Is there? <clears throat> yeah. Uh. There's more to life than CGI, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I like getting me sofas from there. <laughs> it's, uh, so, what is your, 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 your performing name? My performing name is Dave Dinsdale. Dave Dinsdale. Have you got anything you'd like to plug before we end today, Dave? No, because I have uh, almost no gigs coming up. I do have a little radio show. I have a, a little radio show on the Black Country Extra, Black Country Community Radio. But other than that, now I'm pretty much uh, out of the game now. Well, no, that's it. So you've got your, your show on Black Country Radio Extra. Yeah. yeah. What's that called? It's, it's called the Dave Dinsdale Hour. <laughs> Did because... you take lessons from the fucking Osmonds? <laughs> because <laughs> it features Dave Dinsdale and it's on for an hour. Oh, well, hell! What the hell? Are your audience, like, autistic? <laughs> I, 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 we need to describe exactly what's going to happen. I don't know if we've actually got an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Well, who knows? Maybe this rousing speech about the Osmonds will... Uh, I'm sure it's going to attract a few. They're going, oh, my God. Well, I'll tag Oz it. Aussie men, excellent. I'll, I'll tag the Osmonds, and no doubt you'll have millions of people coming to support you. Absolutely will. Yeah. Well, I've got my own YouTube channel, and uh, oh? there's some clips of the Osmonds that aren't on there under anybody else's name, so I put them up under my name, and they're the only films that I put up that people actually watch. Are these legal clips, or did you just sneak into bathrooms and <laughs> drill a little hole? Funny you should say that. Yeah. Having said that, one of my uh, films has got uh, 78,000 views. Is that the, the hole drill <laughs> one? <laughs> that is the, uh, the, the glory hole of the Osmonds, yeah. Gloria Estefan, now that's one. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Gloria Estefan. Even though she has got a twisted back. And well, all I was going to say, is that, is that since the car crash, is that you're into that? She then? can't run away, can she? No. 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 Hey, it's, it's been lovely having you on, David. And uh, just join me in saying goodbye to the boys and girls. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dave. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a bit of a break from the norms. It was audio only, so we sort of podged together a video for it. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, please do tell your friends about it. Give them a share. Let them know what's going on. Again, I'm not doing a fucking Patreon. Uh, I, I don't need to beg. So uh, all I want to do is grow a bit of an audience. If you enjoyed it, please show it to your friends. And if you haven't enjoyed it, show it to your fucking enemies. It takes two seconds. Anyway, love you all. Goodbye.